Hey guys. Welcome to Couple. Please like and subscribe if you like this video. Gun control activist Lucy McBath, whose teenage son was shot and killed in 2012 by a stranger at a gas station, won the Democratic nomination for Georgia's 6th Congressional District. I am at a loss for words. Thank you to my supporters, friends and family. And I want to thank my dear Jordan, my rock and inspiration, McBath tweeted after the race was called. Her son, Jordan, was 17 when he was killed. A former flight attendant and spokesperson for every town for gun safety, McBath decided to run for Congress in March, after the shooting in Parkland, Florida. Over the course of her campaign, she received influential endorsements of several prominent Democrats, including Senators Kamala Harris, D. California, and Kirsten Gillibrand, DN.Y, and Rep. John Lewis, DGA. On Tuesday, she beat fellow Democrat Kevin Abel by about 2,000 votes in a runoff election after no candidate hit the 50% mark in the Democratic primary race in May. McBath will now face Republican Rep. Karen Handel in the general election. Turning from tragedy to politics if Georgia's 6th district sounds familiar, that's because a special election there last year was widely reported on and viewed as a barometer of public opinion on President Donald Trump. Democratic hopes were defeated by Handel, who beat Democratic opponent John Ossoff and made history by becoming Georgia's first ever woman to represent the state in Congress. McBath would also make history if elected she would be the only black woman in Georgia's congressional delegation but maintains that she never saw a foray into politics in her life plan. I never expected this to happen, but I know that in light of all my experiences, to not to do anything is a tragedy in itself. McBath said in an interview with ABC News just days before the May primary and just days after the nation watched another deadly high school shooting unfold in Santa Fe, Texas.